You know, you guys, I'm just gonna say right now at the beginning of the video, arcades are fucking awesome. I've been on this planet for 27 years and throughout my 27 years of existing, I have had my fair share of going to different arcades throughout my life. I've been to Chuck E. Cheese multiple times. I've been to this place called Enchanted Castle. I've been to this place called Gameworks twice. I've been to Dave and Buster's. I've been to Round One. But the best of all of those arcades that I've ever been to is the world famous Galloping Ghost Arcade. And I'm here to tell you of the story of the first time when I went. Intro, start. <laughs> What's up, Warlord Squad? My name is Anime Warlord, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to an all-new episode of Otaku Storytime. For this episode of Otaku Storytime, I'm going to be telling you guys the story of my first time at Galloping Ghost Arcade. So the first time I went to Galloping Ghost Arcade, I was only 20 years old. Yeah, keep that in mind. 20 years old, I went to Galloping Ghost for the first time. And when I was 20, I was in my first year of college. And for my first year of college, I did theater classes and I was in a play called Captain Blood. I had very little minor roles, but you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have the main role or if you have a secondary character role or anything else in between, it does not matter. What matters is that you make that role the best damn role that it can be. And that's exactly what I did because in theater classes, I excelled at them. If I remember correctly, I got myself an A plus in improv and theater classes as a whole. So we were getting ready to wrap up production of our second to last night. And one of our directors just basically said, hey, if the last night goes as successful and as smoothly as the rest of the nights have been, I'm going to treat you guys to dinner and Galloping Ghost Arcade. And then all of a sudden, I just basically just went, wait a minute, hold on, Galloping Ghost Arcade? I I've heard of that name before. I've never been there before. So I was really, really excited because I told my director of my brief history with arcades and she just basically said, wait until you see Galloping Ghost Arcade, Alex, you are going to lose your shit. I'm like, I'm sure I am. So the last night came for Captain Blood and for the last night, it was a packed house, man. A packed house. The whole entire theater was just basically packed to the brim with people. And right there in the front row, I could see a large majority of my family, my mother, my father, my younger brother, some of my aunts, some of my uncles, my family friends, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It was a packed house, dude. Then as the play came to an end, all the actors, one by one, myself included, we all went out on the set and we all took a big giant bow to the crowd. We got a big round of applause. We got some whistles in there and we got a big standing ovation from the left, the right, the center, the middle, etc. It was a big successful night. So as we got back into the dressing room, the director and co-director spoke. First, the main director said her piece, and she says, you guys should be beyond proud of yourselves. Hell, I'm beyond proud of you guys, because if it weren't for your guys' hard work, this play would not have been as successful as it was, because it was one of the most successful plays of 2017. And then the co-director spoke, well, you guys, a promise is a promise. I'm taking you all to Tony's and Galloping Ghost Arcade. Sadly, some of my fellow students couldn't make it to Tony's nor Galloping Ghost Arcade, but I wasn't going to turn down an adventure, so I just immediately said, see you there. So there we were, me and my fellow classmates at Tony's were just basically chit-chatting, having a good time. Hell, I even hosted a toast, I just basically said, well you guys, here's to the success of Captain Blood! And everybody else just joined in the toast, and it was one of the best toasts I've ever hosted. So then... The time came. It was time for all of us to head to Galloping Ghost Arcade. And right when I walked in, I was just basically in shock and in disbelief of how many arcade games there were. And I just basically said, uh, uh, am I, am, am I in heaven? P pinch me. I must be dreaming. And one of my co-stars actually just pinched me. I was like, well, not literally, dude. And then um, he just basically said, well, you offered. <laughs> 
Now, before the entrance fee of the ante to $25 to get into Galloping Ghost Arcade, when I first went, it was $20 to get in. And when Galloping Ghost first started back in the early 2010s, it was $15 to get in. But no matter what, it's still a fair price to get into the greatest arcade in the world. Anyways, so I asked the man at the front desk, I forgot who helped me when I went to Galloping Ghost for the first time, if I could have any quarters for the machines. And the guy just basically said, <laughs> quarters? Are, are you really asking me about quarters? And I just basically said, yeah, do you all have any quarter machines so I can play any of these remarkable arcade cabinets? And he just basically says, we don't have any quarters at Galloping Ghost Arcade. And I said, well, then what's the point then? And he just basically said, well, the main reason why we don't have quarters or tokens that require you to play our remarkable arcade cabinets, it's because we have them all set on free play. And I was like, say what? Yeah, never in my life have I ever heard of an arcade that has all their games set to free play. So this was shocking for a first timer to hear and a veteran arcade goer. So I started walking through the arcade and I kid you not, you guys, it's an endless maze of arcade gaming heaven. It's an endless maze of arcade gaming heaven. There's arcade games on your left and there's arcade games on your right. No matter where you turn, there's an arcade machine waiting to greet you. And of course, being a veteran arcade guy, I already knew I was going to see the classics like, you know, Donkey Kong, Galaga, Galaxian, Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, the rabbit hole is bottomless. And then I started seeing some arcade cabinets that I never even seen before or didn't even know existed. Hell, even games-wise that I didn't even know existed. My first time going to Galloping Ghost Arcade was an absolute joy and still to this day, I still get great joy on going to this arcade and it still continues to get bigger and bigger as time goes on. Now they're getting close to over 1,000 games. Holy shit! And ever since my first trip to Galloping Ghost Arcade, the nerd high has never crashed and I've been a little obsessed on building my very own arcade myself. Have a look. So whenever I don't have the time nor the money to go to Galloping Ghost Arcade, I have three options. I can play these three My Arcade micro players. I definitely have to get more of these in the near future because they're so much fun to collect. I can play this Namco Classics plug and play, which I believe, if I remember correctly, has 12 Namco games on there. Of course, the best of them all, the almighty Pandora G-Box. And of course, as you guys already know, I can play the G-Box in one of two different ways. This is the first way with the wireless remote controller. Farewell to the king. Or I could use the ASCs or arcade style controllers. And these arcade style controllers spin in your lap pretty nicely, don't they? Ah, mirror match. Web ball. Well, you guys. That's my story of my first time at Galloping Ghost Arcade. And you know, I've always wanted to tell this story for quite a while, and I'm glad that I finally got it out there. And before you guys go, 
Here's a little sneak peek of the next episode of Lost Treasures. <laughs> by something more appropriate because what's wrong with my stitch shirt godzilla because i don't see anything wrong with it now don't take this the wrong way man but you're the king of monsters what do you know about style I, uh, I don't know what to say, but, uh, thanks for the shirt, Big G. <laughs> All right, you guys, this just about wraps things up for today's video. If you guys like today's video, give it a like. If you guys have anything to say about today's video, give it a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for future nerdy videos when they come out. You guys already know who I am. I'm Anime Warlord. Stay nerdy. Stay safe out there. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Whatever your time zone may be. And always remember to take care of yourselves. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace out.